Proclamation number 7613, June 6, 1960. The father speaks to his child. You all are able to listen to my voice within yourselves, and it will speak to you. Yet how rarely do you humans establish such an intimate bond with me and keep constantly thinking of me? How rarely do you give me the opportunity to speak to you by consciously entrusting yourselves to me in order to talk to me personally, by withdrawing from the world and involving yourselves in thoughts solely of me? You do this so seldom because you don't seriously believe that you will be able to hear me, that I will speak to you like a father speaks to his children. You have not yet established the relationship of a child to its father. I am only ever the distant God to you, whom you dare not address, and who therefore cannot talk to you like a father to his child, but you can try it any time. You only need to withdraw from the world. You only need to quietly enter into contemplation and take the path to me in your thoughts. You need only wish to hear my voice, and your desire will be fulfilled when you listen attentively and observe the thoughts which arise in you more distinctly, because the more intimately you are giving yourselves to me, the more you will desire to hear me. For I will answer you, because I do nothing more gladly than talk to my children who are now bound to me by a strong bond of love, the father's love to his child. And if you would make this attempt more often, you would be delighted by the inner peace permeating you, for you would feel my nearness, and in this nearness you would also know yourselves to always be protected. Every one of you could attain this blessing of my communication, even if he is not conscious of the fact that it is this intimate contact with me which provides him with inner tranquility. But soon he will not want to miss these hours which he gives to me, which he spends in quiet contemplation, and his soul will mature, for he will never be without a flow of strength when he has looked for and found me. Every thought of me is a blessing, all people should avail themselves of this and time after time turn to me in thought, for then he will have already addressed me and I can answer him if he listens to this answer. That is, if he waits quietly and then takes notice of his arising thoughts, then he draws me to himself and thus I can always be with those whose thoughts are with me. They induce my presence themselves and my presence always has to be of benefit for your souls. Hence, you should often give yourselves the blessing of my presence, for it requires your will to withdraw from the world and lift yourselves into spiritual spheres, where you will always be when your thoughts are with me. And then your soul will truly not suffer any more, for it will be strengthened by me myself, who has access to it now, who can now speak to it and give it what it needs to fully mature during its time on earth. For I want that it should achieve perfection while it is still on earth, and as soon as I can influence the soul directly, its perfection will also be guaranteed. And therefore I want to be able to address it directly. Yet your will has to decide that you will intimately devote yourselves to me and desire to hear me. Then I will surely be with you, and I will talk to you like a father to his child, whose love I want to win forever. Amen.